it's been a minute since I made a makeup video, but today's the day. I'm celebrating the fact that I just got new light bulbs for my room. Because my room is so dark and my videos are so dark. And I got a teeny tiny little ring light, but it's not doing any good. But yes, today is the day. I can already see the difference. My skin looks a different color. Um, yeah, so I'm celebrating new lights. Also, I wanted to test out some, like, stuff that I got from a Shop Miss A website. I'm actually already just, like, doing stuff on the side over here. I'm just gonna get right into it, because I feel like this is gonna get long fast. I'm probably just gonna ramble and do my makeup. But I got a bunch of stuff from the Shop Miss A website. I've actually been using this, um, satin foundation as an eyelid primer. I just put some on this little concealer brush. I'm just going to do that like immediately while I'm rambling because this needs to dry a little bit. But yeah. I don't know. I don't have a lot of money to invest in equipment and materials at the moment. But I'm determined to keep going anyway just because you never know. You never know. I'm like learning along the way anyway. But just changing the light bulbs. I mean, it didn't cost a lot of money, but it cost some money, and it's made a great difference. I'm so happy already. And also, finding the Shop May Say website has been super exciting, because it's like, everything on the website is mostly like a dollar, and they have basically every makeup item and tool I could possibly ever need. So, I can like go on there and actually order like a substantial amount of like stuff that I can play with and use and just experiment with so I can learn more about makeup without like spending a ton of money and then with the money I save on makeup I can use it to hopefully start investing in some better equipment I also found my old video camera that I used to use in college and it's an old HD video camera it's actually I mean it's outdated it's like a decade old but it still works and I think I'm gonna start trying to use that at some points instead of my phone so yeah I've been using this foundation because it's like actually too light for my skin like who would have thought that almost never happens but I've been using it as an eyelid primer because it's, it's very moist. <laughs> and, like, I feel like the eyeshadow sticks to it good, and it's a natural color. So it's not, like, disruptive to the colors of my eyeshadow, and it's a little lighter than my skin, so that's nice. But also on my lips, you can see this patchy leftover lipstick. Like, I went to work today, and I wore black eyeliner, and I wore the, um... Let me grab it right here. The AOA Wonder Matte Lipstick in Extra. And I put this on at 7 in the morning and it's 10 o'clock at night now. And I only touched it up like one time after lunch and I've already eaten dinner. It's not half bad. I also used it with a Plumberry Lip Liner. I'm going to give this a second to dry and figure out where I'm going next. But this is going to be exciting. So... I don't have anything on my face, like I don't have any foundation or BB cream or literally anything on my face to be perfectly honest. But the first thing I'm going to do is take my Mellow Wine blush and use that to kind of do the crease. Where's my mirror? Oh, it's in my lap. My head isn't on straight today. I was just so excited about how bright my room was for once that I was like, I have to take, I have to make a video. I have to commemorate this moment. I also really wanted to play with these brushes. So the one I'm using right now is the High Def Brush E109. This is pretty big chisel brush. It's probably not what people would normally go for for their crease, but I'm using this kind of natural blush color. I don't know. I've been really into... I'm all over the place today. I've been really into doll makeup or like doll painting. Like how they do their faces. 
and I've just been spending a lot of time like Pinteresting dolls, especially those ball jointed art dolls. And like, I want those dolls to like be my aesthetic. Like I want to be one of those creepy art dolls, like 100% in the flesh. And I really like their like kind of sickly, Victorian, pale, kind of like Lolita aesthetic. I've always been kind of a sickly child myself, to be real. Fancy that, here I am on YouTube, haha. Uh -huh. But I like that aesthetic, I like that playing up that cute creepiness, so I've been doing a lot of like really pinker, pinker things. I also like using blush colors in my eyeshadow because I feel like it has a really good way of tying the look together. I mean, at this point I've covered most of my eyelid, like almost to my eyebrow, kind of, with this stuff, but you know, since there's not like foundation or anything up to my eyebrow, it doesn't really stick as much there, but I kind of leave like a little highlight, like right in the middle. But yeah, this brush is cool. I actually like it for my eyes. I don't necessarily think that's probably what it's intended for. It's probably more of like a small highlight brush, but like maybe I'll use it for that later. But so far, I'm using this is good. I don't know. I think I'm gonna like bounce around my face because I feel like I don't have a lot of direction other than like I want to touch these brushes and play with them. I've been using this pointy one, so it's already stained. I've actually been using this one on my eyes too. I know this is totally not what this brush is for, so here, now I'm going to use it on this contouring palette. I'm going to use it on this white powder and stick it under here. I probably should have put something on my face just for you guys, just so this would stick better and be more dramatic, but to be honest, I'm not entirely sure I'm making this video for you guys. I feel like this is me making this video for fun to play with my new video related toys. So, you're welcome. This brush is really soft. This is like, this is my favorite. Also, speaking of favorites, let's try his companion. This little pointy one, it's just like the bigger one, but smaller and pointy. And I also got this AOA Perfect Blush in Kindle. It's like a bright, bright brick red. I'm not going to use this as a blush. I've been using this as like a bright, creepy red eyeshadow. So that's what I'm going to do right now on this little brush. Great combo. Bright red, little brush. Very creepy. But yeah, I think this is so pigmented. I mean, I guess it's not the most pigmented red I've ever seen. But like, you don't even want red to be fully pigmented. Like, you want red tones to be buildable because they're tricky to work with. But, I really like this perfect blush. I'm actually going to get more of them in different colors. The one thing I don't like is the pan size of the blush. I feel like it's too small of a pan to count as a blush. Like, I feel like it has to be an eyeshadow because the pan is so small. But, whatever. I'm, boy I'm buying more anyway. I'm just going to use them as eyeshadow. That would be perfectly real. Ooh, yeah, look. I'm really trying to focus this on the crease. Like, I want to use that blush color to, like, feather this into the skin. So I'm just really trying to focus this, like, right in the in the midst of the blush color. I This does not blend into my skin, like, at all in any capacity. I really like this color though. I like it better than like most red eyeshadows. I think part of why I like it so much is because it's completely matte and it's such like a, a hot red. Yeah, I also really like this little pointy brush. So, and I also like his friend. What else should I do with his friend? 
This one is like perfect. Like you could literally use this brush for anything. I feel so artistic when I'm using this. Like it's like a paintbrush, but for my face. I'm just like touching the brushes on my face. I need a moment. I need to play with all these brushes and come back when I decide that what to do next. Okay. <clears throat> I realized that I was ranting about these brushes, but I didn't tell you what they were. They're the high def brush F5 and E10. <coughs> oh, sneezing. Anyway, high def brush E105 F5. Those are my favorites of the whole the whole collection. I think I like them because the bristles are so compact. They don't fling makeup all over your face. It's very controlled. But I also have this guy. It's like a kabuki brush. It's high def F2. I don't know. I think if you're thinking about getting these brushes, you should definitely get these brushes because they're baller. And they're so cheap. I'm going to use this. I'm actually using now. I've got my e.l.f. contouring kit in St. Luce St. Lucia. I really like this contouring kit. Like, a lot. Ooh, yeah. I like this big brush for my contour. Especially this contour. It's very subtle. It's like a light bronzer. I'm so pale. Doesn't take much. Why am I doing this in the viewfinder again? Sometimes when I do my makeup in the viewfinder, I like turn the camera off and I like look in the mirror and I'm like, what are you doing? Mostly because like it ends up very asymmetrical because my lighting is biased. Which is another thing I should work on, but I have a light bulb above my head and I have a light fixture over there. And that's kind of what we have to work with. This big kabuki brush is great. I think this would also be good for like a foundation brush. Got the burps now. Welcome to my world. So, now I'm going to go back to this guy because I love him. I'm going to use him for my blush. This little controlled point is so cool. I've also been get, like getting into that, um, that kind of kawaii br blush aesthetic where you kind of highlight your nose with it. It's more of like a really cute like windswept kind of look and I've been struggling to like get it right and I like I feel like it's because I haven't had the right brushes like I haven't been able to do the nose part right just because I can't get to it with the like traditional brushes that I had for blush that were very big and very round and like very much intended for highlighting your cheeks whereas at this point like I'm more interested in using as like blush as a contour for my nose yeah I think we're really built up right here I also really like that the um, the way the bristles are shaped on this brush Again, it just, it doesn't fling powder all over your face. And it doesn't give you a very diffused effect. It's like a very dense, concentrated color packing effect. <gasps> I just realized why it looks so strange. I don't have my little... Okay. I turned my itty bitty ring light back on. I don't know if it makes any kind of difference though, a little bit. But yeah, that pointy brush, that's where it's at. Moving on to this other high def brush that I got that's rad, F9, with a little curve. Right now, I'm just going to use this curve abusively just to get like just the point in this white powder. That's not my mirror, because I kind of just want to like come back in under my eyes with like the white. So I'm just going to use the point to like get in here. Yes. Just woke up but blushing. I also kind of want to try this with my um, let's try this with my highlighter. Oh no, let's try it with this highlighter. I'm going to get this pinky highlighter from the St. Lucian pot. St. Lucie, uh, 
I don't know why I want to call it St. Lucien. I don't know why. But it's Lucia. So, it's got this unique shape. Let's see if that helps me. Like, oh yeah. Like, I just feel like that shape is going to help me, like, pack it right onto my cheekbone. You know, like my highlight. I also feel like highlight always looks the best when it's like really packed on there. Yeah, this is a great shape for highlighter. I also, again, it's a densely packed brush. It doesn't have any like flared out bristles on the sides, so it just like really packs the color like where you put it. I also like that it's thin, so like I can still use it to do my nose. It's pretty rad. Uh, I feel like I'm, like, almost at the, like, end of my run for stuff I want to try. I think I've, like, touched almost all these brushes now. They're, like, all dirty. But these are great. And in all this has been fun. I feel like so far we're, we're doing great. I guess, like, let me just touch up my lipstick really quick because I don't know if there's much else to try, to be real. Maybe I'll think of it while I'm doing my lipstick. I haven't even been redoing my lip liner. The lip liner hasn't moved. It's like this lipstick like glued it down. Oh, I want to dab it, but there's like nothing to dab it on. Maybe there's a... Mm, I'm gonna rip a chunk off this paper towel. But yeah, I like these AOA products. Uh, maybe we'll just try one last like hurrah. My strobing highlighter. Let's see what that looks like on my eyelids. Ooh. I actually haven't used this this brush yet. This is the F19 highlighter brush. This is popular. This is a great brush. Let's see. I'm going to get my mirror. I'm just put highlighter all over this brush. I'm just going to do like my eyelid. Like just give that like a sunset golden glow like right over the whole thing I love how that looks with the spread like I would probably wear my eyeshadow like this on the regular I also feel like using really big brushes to do my eye looks is giving me like a really diffused and like blurred painterly effect This highlighter is so powerful, and this, like, fluffy brush just, like, diffuses the shimmer wonderfully. This is a great highlighter brush. I also sometimes use this brush to do, like, my whole, that thing where I color, like, my whole eyelid. I'm just going to put a little extra gold. Just a little, just a little. This is a great brush, though. But yeah. Ugh. I just want to keep touching these brushes on my face. That's probably what I'm going to do when I turn off the camera. But here's the final effect. I gotta say, I'm super into it. I feel like I owe it all to these brushes. Also this matte lipstick, now it's dry. It looks great. It wears great. It's super comfortable. I love this stuff. I love my new light bulbs. If you watched this far, thank you so much. I love you. We are going to be best friends. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed my videos. I hope you keep watching. Leave me any suggestions below. If they're mean, I'll ignore you and delete you.